Hello, uh, good afternoon everyone. So this time I would like to share on how I created my Google Classroom. Okay, so first steps, uh, there are several steps to create the Google Classroom. Okay, the first one is you need to have a Google account or the Gmail account. Okay, if you don't have the Gmail account, if you don't have the personal Gmail account, you can use your uh, school Gmail account. Or if you don't have both, you can have, uh, you can create another one. So you create another account which, uh, which, uh, in which you can create your new Gmail. You go to www.gmail.com. So once you, click that so it will bring you to this window all right so it appears there that you know it's in my gmail in my school since i already have my school my school gmail so you have to sign out all those account if you already uh, gmail existing gmail account you can log on or you can log out and then you have to create another one. Okay, so gmail.com. Sign up. Let's see it here in sign up. Create your Google account. Okay, you can write your name. Let's say Josefina. Jose. Let's see. Josefina. Okay, the last name is. Pastoran, and then you will create Josefina Pastoran at gmail.com. Right, so you have to create a password. Okay, what password do you want? Okay, and then you have to confirm your password. And then if you want to show, just like that, to confirm and then hide, okay? And then try to remember the username. You need to write your username and the password because like us, you have lots of email and password. So once you already wrote the username and the password, so you have to click next. Okay, so he will ask the phone number so you can put the phone number there if you want all right so let's say okay so you can put save there all right next you can you can fill this up or if you don't like it's okay it's not uh, mandatory oh it's mandatory so you have to put the date right and then next whatever required to the to whatever required information uh, guys you need to put some of those okay and then verify your number and then they will send you the verification code it's right here So 232603 and then verify. And then yes, I'm in. All right. So you're in now. So you can go to your Gmail account. You have to click agree. All right. So you're in your own gmail account all right so you are in your gmail account so this is me josefina pastoran so once you already have the gmail account you have to go to this a uh, nine dots right here okay you click this 
we call that Google Apps. You click this and then you choose the Google Classroom. Okay, you can find Google Classroom. Okay, it's right here. Okay, after that, you have to click Google Classroom. All right, Josefina Pastoran, and then continue. All right, so already have the Google Classroom. So since this is my first time as Josefina Pastoran, so I don't have the Google Classroom yet. So all you have to do, you have to click the plus sign, create or join a class. So you have to create a class, okay? So you click, I have read and understand, and then continue. Okay, you can create what, what class you want. Let's say math six. Section, uh, section one. Okay, not section one because there's a section there. Math six. And then section here is section uh, one. And then subject, math. Okay. And then grade. You wait because it's still loading. Oh, see? So you already have the Google Classroom, okay? So this Google Classroom class, you can share the link. You can share this link to your students so that they can access your Google Classroom or copy. Copy the link and then uh, share it to their email, all right? So this, this is called the theme you can you can choose the theme it's lots of theme that you can choose you can choose this one okay select class theme so it will change this one see or you can choose another one if you want the black one that's fine and then select class theme all right so this is it so this is your classroom now okay this is your virtual class uh, google classroom so your, you can give some assignments here, all your assignments, your warm up, your classwork, your homework, your individual uh, practice, your exit ticket. You can put everything in here, all right? And then you can also upload photos if you want. If you save photos, you change this one, you can do it also, all right? And then to add the classwork, you have, if you want to add classwork, all you have to do is click the classwork and then create. And then when you create, you choose assignment, quiz, question, materials, and then choose the topic. Okay, if you want to share a teacher because you want somebody in your classroom, maybe your principal or assistant principal, you just add people there and then uh, write the email address of your principal so that your principal can get inside your classroom anytime the principal wanted to get inside your classroom, all right? And then about the people, the students, all you have to do is add all your students, okay? Add all your students, add all the email of the students and then invite and then the students can receive this link and they will accept, all right? So that's it. You already have your classroom. If you want to add more, it's so easy. Just click, just click also your classroom here. All right? Any questions? No? Okay. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you for uh, uh, watching my video. I hope that uh, to those who are not able to subscribe yet, can you please subscribe? And don't forget to click the bell button in order for you to have an update about, about my video. So please subscribe. Uh, thank you so much and see you. Bye-bye. Thank you.